Hi there, everyone, and uh, welcome to another uh, Thought for Thursday. Uh, it's good to be with you all again. I hope this finds you, you well um, in this week. Um, I, I just want to start uh, by asking you and, and getting you to think uh, about a question. And, and it's a question you may have been asked. It's, it's the one we're kind of all asking at the moment. How have you found this lockdown period? But more specifically, I wonder how your relationships have been during this lockdown period. You know, we have all experienced during this, haven't we, um, missing family, not being able to see grandkids, parents, brothers, sisters, friends. You know, maybe, maybe you live on your own and and you felt never felt more isolated before. Maybe you've you've missed key moments of of life in other family members because you weren't able to be with them. Maybe you've not been able to visit people in hospital when they're ill. I'm sure we've all found this quite hard being away from people isolating. Well, I just wonder how you found that. And I just this morning want to just think about for a, a little bit why it is that we feel that way. Um, you know, yesterday, Joe and I and the kids, we, we went to a place called Fine Shade Woods, which is not far from here, and uh, went on a lovely walk. And uh, it was really interesting seeing um, families there as well, but also just starting to see um, parents with their children and grandchildren as restrictions are, are lifted and uh, lockdown rules change. And I don't know what was going through uh, their minds and hearts, but there was, to me anyway, there's a real sense of a sweet reunion that, that people have longed for that moment of reconnection with family, and, and there it was. Why is that? Why is it that we have found being away and apart from people really hard? How can we explain that? Is it just because we are beings who have evolved and we've evolved uh, in community, realising we're stronger together, so in effect this, this longing to be with people is just a residue of evolution? Or is it something else? Well, I just want to spend a moment reflecting on that. And I just want to point us to a couple of places in the Bible. Um, the first one is, is right back uh, at the very beginning uh, in, in Genesis, uh, where we read of, of uh, God's creation of the world, but also humanity and I'm just going to read from Genesis 1. It's Genesis 1 verse 26. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, over livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. We're uh, looking at Ecclesiastes at the moment in our morning um, services at Houghton. And in Ecclesiastes 3, um, the teacher talks about how God has put eternity into our hearts. So what's this got to do with relationships, lockdown, how we've been feeling? Well, I'm just going to read a quote uh, from a chap called Daryl Johnson who was a professor at a, a college in Vancouver called Regent College. And uh, he's actually Bono's former pastor. There you go. And uh, was studying to, to be an astrophysicist before he, he went into that. Uh, but he, he writes this, these words um, in a book called Experiencing the Trinity. He says, At the centre of the universe is a relationship that is the most fundamental truth I know. At the centre of the universe is a community. 
It is out and for that relationship you and I were created and redeemed. It turns out that community is the Trinity. The centre of reality is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. See what he's getting at there? He's saying that because we have been made in the image of God, which is what Genesis 1 was getting at, we've been made in his image. Therefore, we are like him. And we know from the Bible that God is Father, Son and Spirit. Three persons, one God. And so, at its deepest level, because we've been made in God's image, we ache for relationship more than anything else. Why? Because God himself is in a relationship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And because we've been made in that image, that is why we crave it so much. God himself is a community within the Trinity. We were created by a community for a community. And so I'd suggest that is why we long for and we feel and we desire relationships. You know, that's why solitary confinement is such a harsh punishment because you're deprived of the very thing that we need, people. And so as you reflect on your experience of lockdown, I'd, I'd love you to reflect on this, that we feel this aching for relationships because we have been made by a God who is in relationship. We bear his image and therefore we are like him in some regards. It's not just a matter of survival and evolution that we're better off together. It's imprinted into our being, who we are, because we've been made, created by a loving God. Well, maybe you're tuning into this. Um, I don't know where you might be watching it, but and you're thinking, oh, yeah, maybe it makes a little bit of sense and I'd like to find out more. Well, we're um, running a course uh, starting on Wednesday and I'd love for you to join us. Um, it's going to be very low key. We'll do it using Zoom so you can actually zoom in from anywhere. Uh, you don't have to even live in Houghton. And we'll just start to think a bit more about these issues, about why we're here, issues of purpose, um, all that kind of thing. And I'd love it if you would, would join us. Just um, send me an email, um, steve at houghtonchurch.co.uk. Um, uh, you, can, you can access that through the, our website. Um, and I can add you to the list. It'd be great um, for you to come along and, and just engage in conversation and, and, and ask any questions that you might have. Uh, you know, you can even just sit there and listen. There's no pressure to say anything. But if there's something that's stirring in you, having heard any of these devotions, or maybe you've tuned in to our Sunday morning service, um, I'd urge you, think on those. Don't let that, that rest. Well, thank you um, for listening. Uh, it's been good to be with you again. God bless.